Good morning, students. In the previous class, we have completed addition, addition of two digit numbers. That is also without carryover. Today, we are going to start with three digit numbers. That is without carryover. Addition, that is without carryover. That is three digit numbers. When you are doing this work in your maths fair copy, Near the margin, first square should be empty. The second square, you will write H, next square T, and next square O. H, T, O. What is this H, T, O? H, T, O means 100, tens, and ones. Three digit numbers are coming. That's why H, T, O we are writing. Then the next line, you will write 500, or whatever number you are getting. Then you will put the addition sign where you left the first square empty, you know. There, that square, you will put the addition sign. Then after every sum, three squares should be empty. How many? Three squares should be empty. In one line, you will write only three sums. Okay, now we will start with our addition sums. Our first sum is 500 plus 444. Always start from the one side. Always start from the one side. So, the one side, the first number is 0 and second number is 4. One more thing is there. If you are adding any number with 0, your answer is the same number itself. Suppose, suppose if I say I have 0 toffees in my hand. I am saying 0 toffees. Now, do I have any toffees in my hand? No. 0 means nothing. 0 means nothing. Okay. So, if you are adding 0 with any number, the answer is the same number itself. So, 0 plus 4. So, what will be the answer? Answer is 4 itself. The same number. Now, we are coming towards the 10 side. Again, the first number is 0. Second number is 4. So, 0 plus 4 is, again you will get the answer, 4. Now, we are coming towards the 100 side. 5 and 4. 5 is the bigger number and 4 is the smaller number. Always put the bigger number in your mind and smaller on your finger. You can count it over here. So 5 is, we put it in our mind. So the next number I'm going to count on my finger. So you will also count on your finger. These boxes are made enough so it is easier for you to do it. So 5, the next number I'm doing 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 5 plus 4 is 9. See, I reached here 9. So, our answer is 9. So, 500 plus 444, our answer is 944. Simple addition. Okay, after that, what you have to do? Underline the answer. After every answer, please underline your answers. Now, next number, your next sum is, our question is 313 plus 675. Always start again. I'm telling you from the one side. 5 and 3. 5 is in your mind. 3 is on your finger. So 5, the next number, I have 3 more numbers I have to take. So 5, the next number, 6, 7, 8. So 5 plus 3 is 8. Now we are coming towards the 10 side. 10 side. 7 and 1, yeah, 1, yeah, 1 and 7. Always a bigger number, that is 7, bigger number in your mind. So when I put it in my mind, you will also put it in your mind. So 7 plus 1, 7 is in my mind. So next, one more number I have to add. So 7 plus 1 is 8. Here I added. So 7 plus 1 is 8. Now we are coming towards the 100 side. It means 100, isn't it? So, 6 and 3. Yeah, 3 and 6. 6 in, in your mind. Why? Because bigger number is always in your mind. And 3 is on your finger. So, 6, the next number. I'm going to add 7, 8 and 9. So, 6 plus 3 is 9. So, easy. So, what you have to do? After the answer, underline. Underline with, you can draw two lines. That is your underline. So it is very simple addition. 
What do you have to do? Practice. In maths, you can't buy heart anything. So students, we have to do practice. Practice makes a man perfect. So what you have to do? Practice more and more sums. So it is easier for you to do and it will be faster for you. Okay, so what you have to do? Practice more and more sums. Okay, boys? So this is the way we have to do our three-digit numbers without carry over. I hope you understood. In the next class, you, we will see.